In this video, we will see introduction of SOLIDWORKS. So, first of all, the question arises that why do we use SOLIDWORKS? SOLIDWORKS is a CAD software, that is, computer-aided designing software, which helps us to create a virtual replica of the model that you aim to manufacture. Now, after you have completed the design of the model, we can test that model in some analysis software like Ensys. So, in this way, you can complete the analysis of the design that you have completed on the SOLIDWORKS with no further investments. So, this is a cost-effective way. This means that with the help of this virtual replica created in SOLIDWORKS, you will be able to save material and time of manufacturing since everything is done on this software. Now we will see that what all things are included in SOLIDWORKS. In SOLIDWORKS, at first, there are three options available, part, assembly and drawing. With the help of part option, we prepare a 3D model of a single part, which means there are no sub-assemblies, there is only one single part. Whereas in an assembly, we prepare an assembly of all the parts that we have made. In drawing option, we can basically prepare a sheet like we used to do in the engineering drawings which comprises of all the views that is top view, front view, side view, etc. Now we'll see a basic introduction of each options. After opening the SOLIDWORKS, go to the option of file, then select new, then a window will appear in which three options are available, part, assembly and drawing. So first we'll see what all things are included in part. So select part and then click OK. When the part window opens, you can see various options available. So first go to sketch and now you can see various options available like sketch tool, sketch option, smart dimension. All these options are used to create a two dimensional sketch which is fully defined. And with the help of that two dimension sketch, we will create a 3D object, that is, the object that you aim to manufacture. Now, go to the Features option. Here, you can see all the options available. So, these all options are basically used to convert the sketch that you have drawn with the help of Sketch option into a 3D object. So, here, you can see the option of Reference available. If you click the arrow below the Reference option, then you can see all the options like Plane, Line, Point, etc. So, with the help of reference option, you can create new plane, point or line which will help you in making a new sketch. If you click on the evaluate option, you will see various options. So what an evaluate option basically does? It basically just helps us to calculate the various parameters of the 3D object that we have made. Now if you go to the render tool option, you can see various options available which helps us to basically create a lifelike image of the object that we have made and also to change the appearance of the object like to change the color of the object that we have made. Now if you go to the simulation option, you can see options available so that you can conduct various simulations on object that you have made. So what a simulation option consists of? Basically a simulation option is similar to ENSYS. SOLIDWORKS also have the simulation option with the help of which we can conduct various experiments on the object that we have made. Now if you right click here you can see a window pop out with various options available like weldments, sheet metal, flow simulation, etc. etc. So, what you can do is choose any option from this window and then a window of that option will appear on your screen. So, in this way, you can select any option that you require while designing an object. Now, you can also see some options available here. Basically, these options are helpful to view various hidden or visible objects and to view an object from various directions and also to view a cross-sectional view of an object. And also there is an option of appearance available with the help of which you can also change the color of the object. Now this was a basic introduction of the part option. Now we will be seeing what an assembly option looks like. So now go to the file option, click on new option and then select the option of assembly and then click OK. Now you can see assembly window. Now here one more window will pop up in which it will ask you to 
choose the element that you want to use during the assembly or you can do the same by going into the assembly option and then clicking on insert component option by that you can insert any component you want during the assembly now if you click the arrow below linear or circular pattern option you can see various options these options basically helps us to create two or more copies of the selected part in a defined path you can also see various other options available but the most important is the new motion study option basically this is an option which helps us to create a multi body dynamics of the assemblies that you have made so now you can see the sketch option basically this option helps us to edit any part by staying in the assembly window so similar to the part window there are options available like render tools simulation evaluate etc these options work same as they work in the part option since we have seen a basic introduction of assembly window now we will be seeing basic introduction about the drawing now go to the file option and click on the new option and then select drawing and then click okay now you can see that a drawing window has appeared first it will ask to choose a sheet on which you will be drawing with the help of annotation option you can basically assign part numbers to all the parts involved so that it becomes easy for a user and also for the viewer to identify each and every part so in the drawing option you can either import the top view side view or front view of the part or the assembly or you can make the sketch of the part in drawing itself here you can see these options these options are also available in assembly and part option so these option helps us to change the appearance of the object or it also provides us the toolbox which contains all the fasteners like nut bolts clamp etc well the main objective of this video was to provide you an introduction about all the options that are available in solidworks which helps us to create a 3d object and to do various other things related to them that's all in this video please like and share this video and subscribe to our channel ejs racers thank you